a hand warmer here. They're going to get straight into it. Yeah, I wouldn't predict a hand warmer. And D-Boss massaging the microphone on his headphones. Neither of these guys playing with game audio in their ears. Two, one, go! And it's true, these are both Falcons that have made a living out of very particular spacing and choosing their spots very carefully. So I predict that we're going to see a lot of that, just sort of sitting and waiting. Dark Horse, the one coming up with an opening first. Oh. oh, and he's able to win it out. And he waited to punish the jump. Interesting option. Yeah, the back throw will lead it to an edge guard. Reverse neutral air. Nice. And he gives him the zero to death right back. 40 seconds for the first two stocks. Dark Force. Not quite able to shut out another stock. D boss. Starting something up. Oh, wow. Drops it. I guess Dark Horse and must have And now it's Dark turn. Yeah, just far enough out. Yeah, d -Boss staying far enough on stage to force Dark Horse to up B, but the result is the same. And there you see both the, the patience and just extremely careful spacing from both players. Falcon always wants to grab. And, and both these Falcons know it. D-Boss gets it there and closes it out. It's not closed quite yet, but there it is. D-Boss being a little gutsy there. Dark Horse looks like he's... Uh, Dark Horse gets it in again with the fair. That's the second time. Yeah, but he's not able to close it out. Not quite a high enough percent. Tries to go for the early down air. Uh, Wispy may be interfering with what he wanted to do there, but he closes out with a back air. I agree with the flex down air to me. So here's Dark Horse up one stock, two to one. It's an important one stock to be up. D-Boss with an opening, though. Standard mode. Yeah, he's going to have to make this pay. Yeah, not 115 at the right side. That should be a clean stock. Show me a move. Even it up. This will probably be next opening, next grab, next up smash. Will they be able to close it out? Oh, Another fair hit. from Dark Horse. He keeps getting in with the fair. Slightly far off stage to be able to close it right then and there. But Dark Horse got in three times that match with fair and neutral, which you don't see a lot of Falcons go for. He's making it work. Apparently, it's a perfectly valid style. D-Boss looking a little uneasy. Digging in, trying to figure out a little how to tighten up his game. Dark Horse comes with the fair, but then lands the up smash. D-Boss able to get on, but then Dark Horse kicks him. The roundhouse. D-Boss's turn to respond. No downer. Should be it. Felt like he could have easily just got the downer there, but he wanted the up beam. Yeah, D-Boss has just not been going for those downers off stage. Downer from ledge. That Dark Horse forced to go high. High probability of being a stock, but he got turned around. Oh, and a drop from D-Boss. The second one. Standard drop. Oh, and a dash attack to close it out. Very nice. Pulling it out from the back of the playbook. All right, so he's up a stock, but it's not a lead until he's got some percent on him. All right, this is a good position. Oh, and Dark, Dark Horse says, I have dash attack too, but wrong time. And there he went for finally it. goes for the down air and but misses he missed it. it. Pokes the shield. All right, he's gets it going. Early up B will kill. Nice. D Boss bringing it right back. 1 1. Chicago popping off for D Boss. 
Where's Visa? Did he get kicked out yet? And we're now in the last game yeah, of the night, guys. I don't see him. Someone's popping off. Last game here. Who's so going to take it? Here we are. Loser goes home. Winner advances uh, it to fight Dogs Johnson in top eight tomorrow. And a trade in Dark Horse's favor. Let's D-Boss get, get the ledge, up. though. Coming in with the fair. Yeah, D-Boss careful about getting off ledge, because being on, on the ledge is generally a good place to be around top. D-Boss starting his standard, and he drops another one. Well, yeah, you could see Dark Horse DI way out on the first on the first hit, so that might have given him a position he didn't like. If you're gonna win this matchup, though, you need to be at, be able to react to the DI off up airs, because you know, everyone does it. There's not really a whole lot Falcon can do against you know an, or the person getting hit with the up air. It doesn't have a lot they can do. Just a little bit of DI. Good pickup off the platform from Dark Horse. Oh, when he Drop. goes for something different, but it doesn't matter. Not quite killing. Oh, he misses the jump, though, and he winces. Yeah, two stocks to four and a Falcon ditto is a bad loss. It's a bad deficit. It's a good initial hit. That'll probably kill from there. So it's not a bad way to start bringing some momentum back in your favor. Oh, and he waits for the, for the tech. Falcon can afford to. He's fast. He can catch up. D-Boss going to have to make a comeback now. Oh, uh, yeah. Three stocks is more of a comeback than he's had to make so far this set. Dark Horse going to come in with the fair. Crosses him up. Goes to the platform. And, and gets him with the falling chase. back here. And this might be it, guys. Oh, D-Boss able to DI up and get out of that. Oh, the Falcon kick. That'll put it away. Good, Good set. stuff from Dark Horse. Good fight put up by D-Boss, but unfortunately Chicago is no longer in the bracket. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.